Has anybody seen my left-handed hammer? Oh, hi there. I'm here to tell you about our 30 series torque converter. You got this cool box in the mail. Now what? Well, I'm gonna show you. Let's start out by pulling out the contents of this box. Got our cover here, belt, our hardware. Got our back plate and our driven pulley with your jack shaft. You got your driver. So let's get it popping. So you notice they don't have any instructions, but that's why you clicked on this video. Simple as this. Take your back plate. It's so easy, I'm gonna do it upside down. You line up your mounting holes, get your hardware out. You got a lock washer and a washer. Get all these bolts started. So the difference in your standard centrifugal clutch and this torque converter is number one, your torque converter provides a lot more low end torque. Off-road applications, uh, you definitely want to use a torque converter over a clutch. Also, if your tires and wheels are over about 15 inches, it's best for you to use a torque converter. You will burn up your clutch if you try to run it with 18 inch tall tires. That's a fact. So the idea of a torque converter is a lot like, not like an automatic transmission. The more throttle you give, the pulley transfers the torque from the crankshaft of the motor using the belt to connect these two pulleys. This pulley closes, this one opens, transferring torque from the crankshaft of your engine to this jack shaft sprocket. Your chain is connected from the back side of this driven pulley to the rear sprocket of your go Carter mini bike. So now that we got this mounted, you simply fasten that here. In order for this to work correctly and not fry up your brand new belt, you've got to use the spacers provided. The goal here is to get the backside of each one of these pulleys as straight as you can. So what we do here, we include this thick three quarter washer. You wanna put that onto your shaft first, followed by this washer. Now you notice there's two halves to this driver. This is very important. The back side of your pulley goes on first, like so. And if you can get a good shot of how well that is aligned. Now we're gonna put our belt on. Make sure the flat side goes towards your plate. So you have a beveled side and a flat side. We just pop our belt on like so. A common mistake I see a lot of people make is they they get their pulley, take it apart. Like, man, I don't remember exactly how that came together. So what I see a lot of people do is this right here. You don't wanna do that, no. This, this is your weight assembly with your springs and your inner hub. It needs to go sandwiched in there like so. Take our driver, pop our driver on, put your lock washer on your bolt, your flat washer on your bolt, your Pac-Man washer. Mang, 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 mang. Get that started with a few threads. It's got a built-in key so it locks in place. Don't go try to put this on with a wrench. It'll back out. This whole assembly will come flying off while you're riding, not fun. So then you take your uh, cordless impact. Standard torque on that is I believe three Ugga Duggas. And that my friends is a completed torque converter assembly. Huh? What'd you say? The juggernaut, yes. Yes, the juggernaut. The purpose for the juggernaut is to be able to stay hooked up through high RPM. Where this puppy shines is about 4,000 RPM or greater. So you need to at least have an ungoverned engine. Preferably like a stage two motor would be ideal for the juggernaut. Don't go putting a juggernaut on your stock engine and expecting a lot of results. You're, you're just not gonna get them. Installation on the Juggernaut, very simple. 
Remove your old pulley. You can even keep your spacers on there. Now, since this one doesn't come apart, I like to grab this and wedge it onto the crankshaft, and now you're set. You don't need your Pac-Man washer anymore. Just like that, you're ready to rip in high RPM. Okay, so today we learned how simple it is to pull out your torque converter out of a box, get it installed, and get going. That our juggernaut pulley here is for your performance-based engine, your, your Governor Delete, your Makuni, your Stage 2 and on. Those of you that are wanting to put in a, a juggernaut on a stock engine don't have high expectations. It's great that you bought a juggernaut, hold on to it, remove that Governor, and get your full potential out of it. Well, thank y'all for coming by the shop. Uh, my name is Evan here at Go Power Sports in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, you come back and see us.